Welcome to Rockford, a comfy and cozy little town with rich history and tales of demon possession, child murder, and more. The area was first inhabited by Native American cultures such as the Hopewell and Ottawa tribes. The trails of these tribes were discovered by a man named Smith Lapham, who came to Kent County in 1843. By the fall of 1845, the settlement had about five houses and became known as Laphamville. By 1865, the Grand Rapids and Indiana Railroad Company had begun a railroad extending northward through the village. The railroad had been advising the residents to adopt a shorter name, and when a newly arrived resident from Rockford, Illinois proposed the name of his former town, it was then replatted under the name of Rockford in 1865 and was incorporated as the village of Rockford in June of 1866 with 315 people. Somewhere along the way, a story of a man named Elijah Frisk was brought to life. Frisk was supposedly a gentle old man that was an important staple of the town, so much so that a road was named after him on what is now believed to be the site of his family-owned farm. Sometime in the 1800s, the town's children started to disappear. The parents began getting concerned that someone was targeting their families and decided to rally together a search party with all of the town's finest young men and women. But what they didn't realize is that they had made a huge mistake. Because Elijah was an older man and wasn't thought to be in the right shape for this duty, he was trusted to watch over the town's remaining children. While the parents were out searching for their missing children, bodies started to flow downstream to them. They hurried to the riverbank and were horrified at what they had found. Elijah had used a rope to link the children together and walk them out to the river. When the kids arrived, they noticed an awful smell. That's when Elijah uncovered the bodies of the missing children. They were buried in a shallow grave with leaves covering them. Elijah then tethered the seven children to this tree and took his time murdering them one by one while the others watched and waited for their turn. After hours, the parents finally find their children, but it's too late. When they see what Elijah had done, they grabbed the rope that he used to capture the children and hung him for his crimes. Elijah begged and pleaded for his life, claiming that a demon had taken over his body and that the devil was forcing him to commit these horrid acts. The parents had no mercy and strung him up in the tree. It's said that when Elijah died from the hanging, the river swelled up and swept his body away. And this is the legend of Hell's Bridge. The bridge is a notorious spot for paranormal investigators or just for your average teenager searching for a thrill. It's said that if you visit the bridge at night, you can hear the children crying. Some have also claimed to have seen red eyes in the bushes, with a few people claiming to have seen the devil himself. If you're brave enough, you can stand in the middle of the bridge and hear the devil laughing at midnight. But be careful, you might fall under his spell.